All right, Chef Daddy is back again, and today is a lucky day because you guys get to learn how to make two things, okay? You guys get to learn about the meat, the balls, and then you get to learn how to make an awesome tomato sauce, okay? Okay, so first off, what we have to do is you gotta make your tomato sauce first, and then you gotta start cooking your onions down for that we're gonna add to the meatballs. Because before we add them to the meatballs, you gotta cook them, and then you gotta cool them down. And then you add them to the balls, okay? So these are the ones for the meatballs. Um, they are diced, so pretty fine dice, and then um, just chopped garlic in there, about four cloves. That's one large brown onion, and four cloves of garlic. And then in here for the tomato sauce, we got one large brown onion and four cloves of garlic. Same, same, okay? But you'll notice these onions are sliced for the tomato sauce. And the reason why is because I like that, because it gives the tomato sauce, when you're cooking a rustic sauce, it makes it gives it that texture with the chunkiness of the tomatoes, the chunky onions in there, it's really good. And then similar spices for the balls and for the sauce. So I got fennel seed for the balls, oregano, and chili flakes. I got about four anchovies. And then for the meatballs, I got, you're supposed to have about six anchovies, but I only got three there, that's okay. Um, chili flakes, fennel seed, black pepper, and smoked paprika and oregano, okay? And all equal parts. Okay, so just like a mama used to make, got about two tablespoons of olive oil in a hot pan. Then we're gonna go, the onions, okay? So you start off hot, and then we're just gonna turn the heat down. And every time you do onions, we a little bit of salt, okay? So now I'm gonna turn that down to medium low, and we'll cook these down for about 15 minutes, okay? So right now, now the temperature's cooled down a bit. We're gonna add our anchovies. And they're just gonna melt in there. And that's gonna flavor the meatballs really, really nice. Anchovies, fennel seed, oregano, chili. Now we're gonna cook that down. And now while that's going, we're gonna start with our tomato sauce. So about three tablespoons of olive oil. Same thing, onions right away, smoking hot pan. Little bit of salt, okay? And then we're gonna turn down the heat. And same thing with this, same procedure. You have the anchovies right now, melt down. Hey, hey, hey stop it, huh? What's the matter for you? All right, so I've been cooking the onions for the tomato sauce for about three minutes, four minutes, and now I add the spices. So we're gonna keep stirring that, and then we're gonna add our tomato sauce, okay? All right, so we, sw we sweated out our spices, um, and we brought those spices back to life. Now we're gonna add our canned tomatoes. Okay, now, these are whole tomatoes, so you're gonna think it's pretty gross what I'm doing, but when we're cooking rustic Italian food at home, this is the way grandmas used to make it, okay? So we're basically gonna take these canned tomatoes and break them apart with our hands and dump them in there so they're nice and chunky, all right? Here and a half canned tomatoes here, okay? Now, like this, see, you just squeeze them in there, right through the fingers, and just mash them up just a little bit. They're gonna break down while you're cooking them, because you're gonna be cooking them for about probably an hour, an hour and a half. And you'll notice your tomato sauce, it'll look a bit split when you start it. And then when it's finished, all your tomatoes will be a deeper color and it'll look like more of an emulsified tomato sauce. And all the flavors will come together. It's gonna be fantastic, okay? All right, everyone, so tomato sauce back on. I'm gonna put on high heat, bring it up to temp. And then we'll let it simmer for like an hour, an hour and a half till it's ready. It'll be a nice deep red color. And then if you look over here, I got the onions going. That's gonna go into the meatballs, okay? 
So we're gonna add our spices right now. Here we go. Here we go. We added our chili, fennel seed, oregano, and the anchovies are already in there. And they're completely melted down now. So now we're just gonna give that a stir in there. And the heat of the pan will bring out the flavor and the oils of the chilies and the fennel seed. So we're just doing this near the end of the cooking. And then we'll cool this down and get the meatballs going. All right, the onions have been cooking for 15 minutes for the balls. So now, just gonna put them on a plate like this. Okay, it'll be nice. Beautiful flavor with the anchovies, chili, fennel, oregano. Spread them out, because they'll cool down faster. And then I'm just gonna chuck them in the fridge until they are cool, and that'll speed up the process. And then we'll start fondling the balls, okay? Please, um, during the filming of this, please excuse all the ball jokes. All right, everyone, this is my favorite part the rolling of the balls. You get to use your hands. You get to play with your balls. Um, I got about one kilo of pork mince and one kilo of veal mince. So two kilos total. That's gonna make, if you go like 60 gram balls, you probably get about 30, 35 balls out of them, okay? So what I got here, I got about 75 grams worth of breadcrumbs, panko crumbs, regular bread, whatever you got in your pantry, okay? I put a bit of milk in there just to soak it up so it's more like a paste, okay? So that's gonna keep your balls orgasmically moist. It's gonna be unbelievable, okay? Here, you got your onions that you've been cooking off for 15 minutes and then you cool them in the fridge, all right? We're gonna dump that in. And then we got our breadcrumbs, okay? Dump that now. You're gonna get your hands in here and get dirty, all right? So I like to use a larger tray like this. You just wanna get in there and squeeze the meat. Okay, so I haven't seasoned this yet at all. So I'm gonna add a good amount of salt, okay? So this has no salt in it right now. Let's have those spices, okay? And then you just you drive right back in and you keep mixing it. So, we're gonna taste it after it's been mixed to see if we got enough salt in there, okay? So you can get a pan hot and then you can cook a little mini ball, whatever you want, or you can go caveman style and just taste a little bit of the raw mince. It's not gonna kill you. I can spit it out if you want, but at least you'll get to taste the seasoning of it, okay? All right, meat is perfectly seasoned. We're ready to go. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start rolling our balls now. So if you, at home there, if you are anal about your balls, you can use a scale to weigh it, like this. Or, we're at home, we're not at the restaurant, I'm just gonna free ball it, okay? So this is about 60 grams, about that big, okay? And all you're gonna do is just give it a little roll. Don't need to weigh it out at home, you know? We're not worried about our food costs here. But I like them a little bit bigger because we're gonna sear them and get them color on the oven and then that way they'll remain raw on the inside, okay? All right, balls are rolled. I got like, one, two, three, four, five, six. 30, yeah, 45, all right. So, a little bit more than expected, but that is okay, because we're gonna have balls for days. So I'm gonna put them in my freezer, batch cooking. That's what we do here, Chef Daddy's Kitchen. Um, a little tip. At the restaurant, if you got like 300 meatballs to sear, it's a little much to do in a pan. 
Um, don't tell any of my Italian relatives this, but what I do is I deep fry them for like 30 seconds and you actually get a perfect caramelization on the outside of the ball, no messing around. Deep fry in, out, foam, sauce on top, in the oven, done, finito. So um, at home though, if you're doing like, you know, 10, 15 balls, you can probably do them in a pan, get a good hot pan, sear on it, but I'm gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna put it on broil or it's grill here in Australia. Uh, just crank the tot, I don't know why it's grill, because a barbecue is a grill, that's a grill, I don't know why the grill is in the oven, but anyways, we can go on about that for hours. So, you get your grill on smoking hot, the highest it can go, and then we're gonna put the meatballs on a tray, right in there, on the top shelf, and then we'll kind of move them around every once in a while, and that's how we're gonna get our sear on them very quickly, okay? All right, very important when you add, Salt to your tomato sauce, okay? All we've added, if you think about it, we had four cans of tomatoes in there. We just put a little pinch of salt in while we're doing our onions, and then the anchovies, of course. So if you taste it, it's gonna taste pretty bland. You know, you're gonna taste your spices, and your tomatoes, and your anchovies, and everything, but you're not gonna have that punch of seasoning to it, okay? So, go a good pinch, give it a stir. All right? All right. So, tomato sauce is done. Just chill in there now. You can keep it warm, because we're gonna dump the hot tomato sauce on the balls, okay? Right now, I got my baking tray with a little tin foil, olive foil, whatever you wanna call it, on this. It saves me up the washing, okay? So, I don't want sticky balls. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of canola oil on there. If you got a spray thing, even better, okay? Much more efficient. Now, the balls. We're gonna spread them out about 10, 15 mils apart, because you don't want them touching or you know heating up and steaming each other. And we'll do this in batches, okay? So we'll probably need two to three batches of this, the amount of balls I got. And we'll come back and show you how it turns out. Smoking. Okay, here we go. So we just got a little bit of brownness going on the top there. And that, folks, is what we want, okay? So my grill, grill in the oven was on high. Okay, so I got that on 250 cranked fan grill if you have that setting. All right, now we're gonna take these balls and we're just gonna chuck them in there. And then we're just gonna do another batch of the ones that haven't been seared. All right, so my balls aren't that big. They're slightly below average size. So what I did here is I was able to fit them all into this tray, okay? Now, this is what I was roasting the balls in, and there's all this juice in here, which is a lot of flavor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dump that in there, just like that, and that'll be heaps of extra flavor added to it. Now I'm gonna get my sauce, which has been hanging out over here fully seasoned, ready to go. I'm just gonna add it on to my balls. So now my balls are bathing in this glorious liquid. Just having a great time. It's really like a party in here. We're just gonna spread the sauce out, give them a little shake, make sure the balls are completely covered in the sauce. Just like this, let me show ya. Now we're gonna put some olive foil on that, all right? And then 
I'm gonna put them in the oven for about half an hour. Check them after half an hour. They need a little more, they need a little more. Essentially right now, they're almost cooked. But what we wanna do is get that tomato sauce flavor and that heat going through the meat of the balls and it'll be full flavored with all the spices, the anchovies, the chili, the fennel, oregano, all that stuff. It's gonna be amazing. Hey everyone, look at my balls. Beautiful, beautiful balls. Not so lucky wife, with burnt bread. All right, ball touchers, here we go. I have the pasta that I heated up with the meatballs here. I just took them out for plating purposes. So I did penne, you guys can use spaghetti, whatever pasta you want. You can put them in a meatball sub. You can just eat it on its own with a bit of Pecorino Romano, Grana Padano, whatever you got. But this is what me and my lucky wife are gonna eat tonight, okay? I always just get a little bit more. That's the rules. And then, you get four meatballs each. Right on top. Freshly shaved, Grana Padano, Pecorino, whatever you got. I like lots on mine. And so does Danielle. And just like that, that's where you build up the sweat. All right. Then on mine, I like to always put a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And then last but not least, you want a little bit of fresh olive oil. It makes it taste super Italian. And there you have it guys, Nona's Balls.